The iPhone 18 and the iPhone 18 Pro are tipped to have a smaller dynamic island and no under display face ID. According to a fresh report, Apple is going to decrease the dynamic island on the iPhone 18 and iPhone 18 Pro. However, the lineup may still miss out on the long-rumored under-display face ID, meaning the pill-shaped kitout will remain for at least another generation. The iPhone 17 series has only just been introduced, but Focus is already migrating to Apple's 2026 lineup. Over the past few months, we've seen a steady trickle of iPhone 18 rumors, including claims that Apple may introduce a new pressure-sensitive camera control button and even shake up the lineup, potentially replacing the base model with the iPhone Air that would sit alongside the Pro, Pro Max, and a new foldable iPhone. Now, the latest rumor is coming from Setsuna Digital, a prominent leaker on the Chinese network WIPO. The leaker states the iPhone 18 and iPhone 18 Pro would not have an under-display face ID and under-display front camera as previously speculated. Instead, Apple is reported to be working on a smaller dynamic island, which will contain the face ID sensors. The front camera will be separate, possibly as a punch hole, as earlier rumored. It remains to be seen how Apple expects to squeeze both in. If the claims prove out to be accurate, the pill-shaped kitout will endure for at least another generation. Apple will probably introduce the underscreen face ID and front camera with the iPhone 19 series and the anticipated 20th anniversary iPhone, which is reported to sport an all-display design with no holes. Setsuna Digital has previously leaked precise facts, such as the vapor chamber heat spreader in the iPhone 17, which surfaced around the same time last year. However, the account has also been wrong on many instances. In any event, there remains a significant likelihood that Apple may change the front display during the next two iPhone generations. Unless Apple opts to continue periodically displaying the classic pill-shaped interface feature in its iOS 27 software, May's statement hints that the devices might not have a dynamic island at all. Taking Mo's story as a lead, Developer Philip Vabrausek has helpfully attempted to depict what such an iPhone 18 Pro model could look like. All well and good, you might think. However, CounterPoint Research VP Ross Young this week lobbed a grenade into May's settled territory by claiming that the iPhone 18 Pro will still have some visible face ID elements. For this reason, Young believes that the smartphones will still contain a dynamic island, albeit a smaller version compared to the one on the iPhone 14 Pro through iPhone 16 models. Fibrausek has again stepped in to give us a peek at this alternative implementation. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has also indicated that Apple will lower the size of the dynamic island on at least some iPhone models debuting next year, so there are now many sources who believe that iPhone 18 models will still include a smaller dynamic island rather than merely a front camera hole. So there you have it. Two opposing visions of what the iPhone 18 Pro's display could look like. It's quite a huge issue for anyone who expects to replace their iPhone next year, considering how much time we spend staring at the screen. As for the 20th anniversary iPhone, due in 2027, Young's roadmap also threw a spanner in the works by refuting claims by the likes of Kerman that it will be the first iPhone with a truly uninterrupted display with no kitouts. Young now expects that the first iPhone featuring both underscreen face ID and an underscreen front camera will be introduced all the way in 2030, suggesting that a completely all-screen iPhone remains a full five years away. Digital Chat Station, a well-known leaker on Chinese social media platform Weibo, stated the new design would disclose internal components like the MagSafe charging coil, producing a unique visual flair. However, the phrase semi-transparent remains unclear, provoking controversy online. Custom transparent back iPhones have long been popular among tech modders and third-party case makers. But if Apple were to adopt this look in a flagship model, it would constitute a significant divergence from its customary design philosophy. Still, the adjective transparent may not refer only to aesthetics. Experts speculate it could relate to thermal conductivity or enhanced cooling systems. These beliefs are backed by rumors that the iPhone 18 Pro will have a vapor chamber cooling mechanism constructed of stainless steel. In this scenario, the transparent glass may have a functional purpose, aiding heat dissipation, rather than showing inside machinery.
If these leaks prove genuine, integrating heat conductive glass with vapor chamber cooling could help Apple solve overheating issues, a recurring user gripe with new iPhone generations. At this stage, the iPhone 18 Pro Max is reportedly still in the prototype phase. This means Apple has sufficient opportunity to tweak or abandon experimental design concepts. For instance, the iPhone 16e went through five different rear panel designs before finalizing its mass production model. The translucent rear plate on the iPhone 18 Pro Max could simply be part of such internal testing and may never reach consumers. Moreover, a transparent back doesn't quite align with Apple's current design ethos. Since the iPhone 12, Apple has favored minimalist, cohesive, and premium aesthetics. Revealing internal features like the battery and aluminum frame, which aren't physically stunning, may not satisfy Apple's design standards. Still, one convincing hypothesis claims Apple might update the MagSafe ring around the Apple logo to make it a focus of the new semi-transparent style. But for now, this remains speculation. The iPhone 18 Pro Max is more than a year away from introduction, allowing Apple plenty of room to explore and abandon several design ideas. As such, the possibility of a transparent back making it to the final edition remains slim. However, the speculations mirror a broader trend. Apple may be attempting to more clearly separate the Pro models, not just in performance, but also in visual identity. If the translucent back becomes a reality, the iPhone 18 Pro Max might be Apple's most audacious design since the iPhone X in 2017. Another fascinating rumor concerns the design. The iPhone 18 Pro variants likely feature a translucent strip of glass on the back, a window that interrupts the metal frame. The notion is likely more about aesthetics than functionality. However, it would show the innovative vapor chamber cooling technology Apple unveiled with the iPhone 17 Pro. Apple is apparently prepping the C2 modem, the follow-up to the C1 that showed up in the iPhone 16e. This next-gen 5G processor could come with the iPhone 18 series in 2026 and intends to totally cut ties with Qualcomm. Expect greater M-Wave support, carrier aggregation for speedier downloads, and a focus on power economy. The Pro and Pro Max versions of the iPhone 18 may also pack new LTPO Plus displays. This technology is projected to boost refresh rates even higher while managing battery life more efficiently, allowing customers crisper images without depleting the phone as quickly. Behind the scenes, the largest leap could be the A20 chip. While the A19 in the iPhone 17 series is built on a 3 nanometer process, the A20 is rumored to jump to a 2 nanometer process precisely the N2. That might translate into approximately 15% better performance while consuming 30% less power, probably Apple's boldest processor change yet. The newish camera control button is also believed to be getting tweaked. Instead of integrating capacitive touch with pressure sensitivity, Apple may give a pressure-only detection. That would allow taps, pushes, and swipes to be recognized without the extra capacitive layer, a setup similar to what Oppo has already tried on the Oppo Find X8 Ultra. The iPhone 18 series is predicted to launch in September 2026, following Apple's typical release timetable. Pricing is expected to remain consistent with the iPhone 17 Pro models. 1. $1,050 for the Pro model. 2. $1,249 for the Pro Max. While these prices reflect the premium nature of Apple's flagship devices, the anticipated upgrades could make the iPhone 18 a worthwhile investment for users seeking innovative technology and performance. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.